Hello and welcome to The Contenders. I'm your host, Peg Eun Young. Yesterday, the 9th Busan International Film Festival opened its curtains. And Busan, as you know, through this event, has become the new capital of film in Asia. Interest in this festival was so high that tickets sold out in a matter of 4 minutes and 54 seconds. Why don't you take a trip down to the port city yourself and take part in the festivities? Let's welcome today's contenders onto our stage. <laughs> Thank you for joining us. We have the TNA team, Patrick Alaba and Adam Harrison. TNA, what is that short for? Stands for True or Total North Americans. Mm -hmm. I'm from Canada. And I'm from the States, so we figured we kind of, mostly, cover the whole North American spectrum. Hmm. All and, right, uh, where well, exactly they, are you from? I'm from Westfield, New Jersey. Mm -hmm. I'm from Godridge, Ontario, near mm. Toronto. All right, well, welcome to our stage. Good luck to you today. Thank you. Thank you. Going against the TNA team, we have the Kaisman, Lee Subom, and Brian Kim. And Kaist, I suppose you're from the school? Yes, uh, we're from Kaist, and uh, I'm a PhD candidate in Kaist, majoring in mechanical engineering. And he's a, a visiting professor in Kaist Language Center. Mm -hmm. So met, we met each other as a teacher and a student, but now we became very friendly, mm -hmm. and that's why we came here together. It's a top ranked school in Korea. What is Kaist short for? Um, Korea Advanced Institute of Science and Technology. Mm -hmm. Thank you for that. Good luck to you, Kaisman and TNA. Let's begin our game. <laughs> we will start off today, as usual, with our multiple choice section. TNA, you get to choose first. Q, U, I, or Z. Let's go for you. Okay. Going with questions at you, number one. Of the following, which country is not correctly associated with the feature on their flag? One, Korea, Crescent. Two, Canada, Maple Leaf. Three, United States, Stars and Stripes. Four, Switzerland, Red Square and White Cross. One, that would be one, Korea, the Crescent. Mm -hmm. The Korean flag does not have a crescent, but we have the Taeguk mark That's instead. And uh, we have the blue and red in the swirly round. Yin yang, kind of. <laughs> yes. <Yeah. laughs> and, uh, moving on to our second question, question number two. Of the following, which is not a card game? One poker, two blackjack, three mahjong, four bridge. Mahjong. Number three. Yes. Mahjong is a Chinese game involving chips. And we go to question three. Of the following, main character of which movie is not an animal? One, Catwoman. Two, Stuart Little. Three, Babe. Four, 101 Dalmatians. That would be one, Catwoman. <laughs> and did you get to catch the remake? No. Uh, I think I'll pass. Really? I'm a big Batman fan, and you know, they kind of weeded out the main element, so... Uh, what do you think? It sounded pretty weak to me. So. Mm. Although Halle Berry. Huh. Yeah. <laughs> and we go to question four. Recently, a golf competition between Europe and the U.S. ended on September 18th with the, in the U.S. Of the following, what is this competition that celebrated its 35th birthday this year? One, President's Cup, two, World Cup, three, Dynasty Cup, four, Ryder Cup. I'll take the chance, please. All right, we will remove two of the incorrect choices for you. And now, please, TNA, your final answer. Number four, Ryder Cup. That is correct. <laughs> and Dynasty Cup, of course, is played in... Uh, Asia. And we go to question five. Last month, the U.S. economics magazine Fortune chose this person as the richest person in the U.S. under the age 40. Of the following, who is this person? One, Michael Dell. Two, Rupert Murdoch. Three, Jeff Skoll. Four, Larry Page. 
You've used chance, TNA, we need your final answer. Can we take a chance, please? No, you've used it? We've used it, it's our last one. Number three. Actually, it is Michael Dell, who is this rich, wealthy person. Uh, TNA, you end this section with 40 points, but we have a lot of the quiz ahead. And now, Kaisman, it is your choice. Q, I, or Z sets? Uh, I'll choose Q. All right, going with questions at Q, number one. Of the following, which coins are not circulated currently in Korea? One, ten one, two, fifty ones, three, one hundred one, four, one thousand one. Uh, number four, one thousand ones. Mm -hmm. Go to question two. Of the following, which is not forbidden in Islam? One, drinking liquor. Two, eating pork. Three, gambling. Four, wearing a turban. Number four, wearing a turban. Question three. Of the following, who achieved the record for career strikeouts by a left-hander in last September? One, Randy Johnson. Two, Barry Bonds. Three, Derek Jeter. Four, Roger Clemens. Number one, Randy Johnson. Mm -hmm. And if you get this one right, you will tie. We go to question four. Of the following, what does CC use to indicate the engine displacement stand for? One, carbon copy. Two, circuit court. Three, cubic centimeter. Four, civil code. Uh, number three, cubic centimeter. You haven't used chance yet, we go to question five. Of the following, which one is the odd one out? One, George Gershwin. Two, Yves Saint Laurent. Three, Pablo Casal. Four, Chung Myung Hun. Number two, Yves Saint Laurent. Mm -hmm. He is a designer among musicians. And we go to question six. The world's first postage stamp made its appearance in 1840. In which country was this? One, France, two, the United States, three, the United Kingdom, four, China. Okay, we'll use chance. All right, we will erase two of the incorrect choices. And now your final answer, Kaisman. And we will select number three, the United Kingdom. That is correct. Good use of chance. Question number seven. Of the following, which is the official language of Algeria? One, Catalan. Two, French. Three, Arabic. Four, Spanish. Number two, French. Actually, it's Arabic, which is the official language of Algeria. Kaisman, you end this section in the lead, 60 points. Now we have come to our password section. We'll give you 100 seconds to go through 20 words in a pre-chosen category. TNA, if you're ready. Yes. Your category is New York. Yes. Hmm. And are you ready? Well, I'm ready. Are you ready, Adam? Let's do it. All right. All right. Go. Okay. Red fruit, nickname. Red, uh, Big Apple. That's right, yes. Uh, major metropolitan area, um, uh, main borough, island. Manhattan. Right. Yes. Lots of theater, drama, plays. Broadway? Yes. Okay, big metal woman, you know. Statue of Liberty. Yes. Okay, acronym, all the countries together. Two United words. Nations. Acronym. Yes. Okay. Uh, the Holland Tunnel runs through it. Body of water. Hudson River? Yes. Spike Lee. Way up north. 100th Street up. Harlem? Yes. Uh, financial Center. Street. Wall Street. Uh, 
Music uh, Academy, very distinguished. Jay. Juilliard? That's oh. um, Terrible Tragedy. September 11th. Where it is? Uh, World Trade Center. Now, what's it, what's it called now? The Liberty Tower? No, no, okay, Freedom next, Tower? next, next, pass. Um, President, 1963, killed. He has JFK? planes. Uh, JFK Airport? Yes, or full name. John F. Kennedy no, Airport? No, 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 it goes overseas, outside of the United States, not domestic. JFK International Airport? Yes. Uh, best, best baseball team ever. Yankees. Yes. I guess you're a Yankees fan. Oh yes, definitely. <laughs> um, you didn't get to ground zero, which oh, is what we call yeah, it now. Geez. We have 150 Super points nice on the board. Congratulations. <laughs> and Kaisman, now it's your turn. <laughs> your category is on TV. Yes. Are you ready? Yep. Go. C, this quiz show, um, The Contender. N, CNN, YTM. News. G, Listing, Channel Listing. Guide, TV Guide. B, British, Channel. BBC. C, Advertisement, Commercial. H, uh, CJ, LG, Home Shopping Channel. C, person who's lazy, watches TV all the time, two words. Um, couch potato. C, children's program. Cotton. D, Nova. Um, two um, words. Documentary. Documentary. Documentary program. Do documentary channel. Movie, another word for movie. Pass. Pass. S, a long running daytime drama. Uh, soap opera. S, basketball, football, sports. G, it's the Korean comedy show. Get concert. This is what you eat in front of the pass. Popcorn. Pass. It's the ceremony, TV ceremony. Emmy Award. C, a funny program. A comedy. MTV plays this very often. Uh, Two words. You didn't quite get to the other word for movies, documentary films, films. was what we were going for, and MTV, known for music videos. Music videos. Um, but Kaisman, you still have to lead 190 points versus TNA's 150. It's a very close game. However, Kaisman, you are in the lead. And now let's welcome Mr. David Huang. Hello, and young. Hi. Once again, we're back here on the contender stage. Mm -hmm. um, by the way, are you guys feeling okay? No yeah. nervousness, anything like that? Well, I'm here to bring you nervousness because I'm here to give you rules for the next section. So I'm making you more nervous. Just kidding, obviously. Relax and have a good time. Uh, hopefully this is a fun experience for you guys. And without further ado, I'll go ahead and introduce the rules to the next section, all right? Uh, the next section is a round of non-multiple choice questions. The first team to buzz in will get the first chance to answer. Now, if that team gets that question wrong, that chance will be given to the other team. Now, if neither of you guys can figure it out, we're going to help you out with the help of a spelling hint that will be shown on your screen. And there's 15 questions in this section, 30 points per five seconds to answer each one. Any questions? Nope. Let's have question one. All right. Question number one is about products. Children with cerebral palsy often suffer from uncontrolled drooling, but researchers report that the drooling can be reduced with an injection of this. Originally, this was used to relieve uncontrollable muscle spasms, but is increasingly being used for cosmetic purposes to paralyze facial muscles as a means. DNA. Botox? Yes. Botulinum toxin. 
Paralyzing the muscles underneath keeps us from having wrinkles. We go to question two. All right, question number two is about insects. A miniature robot designed this summer by a mechanical engineer from Carnegie Mellon University has done what only bugs and Jesus Christ have done before, walk on water. A research team modeled the robot after this insect, which is found skimming on the surface of nearly every pond, river, and lake. What is this insect? TNA. Mosquito. Kaisman, five seconds. Hmm. Let's take a look at the hint. Kaisman. Water strider. Yes. We would have also taken pond skater. <laughs> and we go to question three. Yes, those spelling hints do help. Question number three is about issue. The Swiss government said that this, with digital biometric data, will be made available on an experimental basis from the end of 2005. The authorities added in a statement that the new version of this will include detailed digital scans of the holder's face and possibly of their fingerprints and iris. This is an official government document required to travel. TNA. Passport. Yes. Required to travel. And TNA, you are behind by just 10 points. We go to question four. Well, close game. Question number four, it's about sports. Last month, this person defeated the former world top-ranked player Juan Carlos Ferrero of Spain at the ATP China Open Tour. He made his debut in professional tennis back in 1997 when he was only 19. However, he has not been able to win any ATP titles yet. Who is this Korean-American tennis player? Hmm, Korean-American. Let's take a look at the hint. Heisman. Kim. <laughs> TNA, five seconds. Kevin Kim. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> and go to question five. You guys are thinking of Korean for a yes. second, yes. I know. All right, question number five is about food. A Spanish company is hoping to persuade international investors to put money into the world's first futures market for this. Spain is the world's biggest producer of this. It is an oil derived from the fruit of a tree which ori originated in the Mediterranean. Heisman. Olive. Olive oil. It's all for her. That's very high content of mono on such unsaturated fats, which are good for you. Very good for you. Mm -hmm. And we go to our next question, number six. All right, question number six. It's about the internet. This internet portal is buying the online jukebox provider Music Match as it seeks to broaden its appeal to the rapidly growing audience for music downloads. This is a popular internet portal and web directory. It was founded by Stanford graduate students David Philo and Jerry Yang. Heisman. Yahoo. Yes. Philo and Yang. And do you download often? Uh, not Sometimes. really. You <laughs> no. Not really? Well, occasionally, from time to chance. So I think people are being very cautious uh -huh, about it. Yes. Yes. downloading, pirating. No, I'm just. Mm. <laughs> well, we can pay. To yeah, that's true. That you know? is true. Yeah, I suppose. Uh, anyway, okay. moving on to question seven. <laughs> All right, moving on to question number seven. It's about substance. Researchers suggest that an extract from the hibiscus flower could have the same heart health benefits as red wine and tea. Experts say that the flower contains antioxidants. TNA. Cholesterol. Yes. <laughs> Cholesterol, which is an alcohol constituent of all animal fats and oils, and so hibiscus flowers can help us. Hmm. Yes. And TNA, you're just 40 points behind. It's a very close game. We move on to our next question, question number eight. Question number eight, it's about music. The Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, based in Cleveland, Ohio, has existed since 1983. This year, Grandmaster Flash and this rock band are among the nominees for the 2005 Rock and Roll Hall of Fame in the U.S. This band uh, has been politically active in human rights causes. What is this Irish rock band featuring Bono? Iceman. You too. Yes. Bono.
And it's the contest of the buzzers. Hmm. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and we go to question nine. Any U2 fans here, by the way? Of course. Yeah. Of course. Gotta love U2. Classic, I think maybe, perhaps, after the Rolling Stones, they could rival any band for like the number two of greatest rock and roll bands ever, I think. They're a little too vocal, though. A little too vocal? Yeah. Really? For their... Yeah. Well, you know, that's their thing, I guess. Mm -hmm. But their music, anyway. All right? Shall we move on to number nine? Yes. Okay, number nine. It's about countries. This country and South Korea have signed a $40 million deal for the provision of 100,000 broadband internet lines to the Islamic Republic. It began to offer ADSL internet access earlier this year, but lines are still limited in number and geographical placement. The country has an estimated 3 million internet users. It is located on the eastern shore of the Persian Gulf. What is this country? A new deal. Let's look at the hint. TNA. Iran. Yes, it is the Islamic Republic of Iran. And once again, it, com it comes down to 40 points between you and Heisman. Let's go to question 10. Question number 10, it's about painters. Scientists have revealed that having less than perfect vision may be the secret of being a great artist. The scientists analyzed this painter's self-portraits and found one eye looked straight ahead. Heisman. Van Gogh. TNA, it is your chance to answer. He will finish the question. One eye looked straight ahead while the other looked outward. His paintings are characterized by luxuriant brushwork, rich color, and a mastery of chiaroscuro. Who is this Dutch painter of the 17th century? TNA, five seconds. TNA. Rembrandt? Yes. <laughs> and TNA, you are at 300 points. Kaisman, 310. Very close. Let's move on to our next question. All right, the final stretch, number 11. It's about awards. Recently, French President Jacques Chirac bestowed the country's highest honor on director Steven Spielberg. He was made a Knight of the French Order titled this to recognize his work in fighting hatred and intolerance. This is an order of merit given by the government of France. It is one of the most prestigious French awards and the country's highest civilian honor. What is this? Highest civilian honor given in France. Let's look at the hint. It's something we've all heard of before. What is something we admire? TNA. TNA? Legion of Honor? Yeah. Oh! Oh! oh. oh. Canada! Legion of Honor. And TNA, you're in the lead. 330 versus Keisman's 310. Let's move on to question 12. A spelling hint. Here we go. Question number 12. It's about words. In international commerce and politics, this word means the prohibition of commerce and trade with a certain... TNA. Sanction? Kaisman, it is your chance to answer. He'll finish the question. The prohibition of commerce and trade with a certain country. That's the definition. It is also used in journalism to imply any official restraint or prohibition. Early this year, a Korean reporter was blamed for breaking this in regards to the report of the research done... Kaisman. Embargo? Yes. Research and Heisman, you've got the lead back. 340 versus TNA's 330. Let's move on to question 13. All right, question number 13. It's about person. This person said that she never set out to be a role model or paved the way for the next generation of female journalists. She relinquished her role as the co-host of 2020 after a quarter Heisman. century. Barbara Walters. <laughs> And moving on to question 14. All right, tight race. Question number 14, it's about science. According to research done in the U.S., the bacteria that can destroy about one-third of this potent greenhouse gas uses a neat trick to gather a key nutrient for the job. The research was led by Hyung Jun Kim of the University of Kansas. It is a colorless, odorless gas. It is the main constituent of natural gas, which is used as a fuel. What is this gas? TNA. Carbon dioxide? Kaisman, five seconds. Kaisman. Origin. Let's take a look at the hint. Kaisman. Methane. Yes, or CH4.
and we've come to our last question. Our last question, number 15, it's about entertainment. Recently, this former child star has been arrested in... Kaisman. Macaulay Corkin. Yes, for marijuana possession. And it was a very close match, but Kaisman, you get to go on to the finals. Congratulations. <laughs> TNA, um, it was a very, very close game. Well, thank what do you, you. want to say? <laughs> well, uh, I'd like to thank Helen and Leo Lee for allowing us to be derelict of our professional duties. <laughs> Anybody else? Friends and family back home. In Godrich in New Jersey. We have a chauffeur here, too, we'd like to thank for uh, who out, whose steadfast tenacity would not let us be here today. So, well All said. Right. Thank, thank you. you very much for joining us. Right, thank you. And Kaisman, I know you have some people to thank behind you. Mm -hmm. I would like to thank my wife, uh, who is sitting behind me. Uh, mm -hmm. It's also her birthday. Happy birthday. Oh. And say hello to my son, Randall. Hello. <laughs> and? And my girlfriend, Hee Jung, who also sit by <laughs> your wife. Ah, so you had lots of support behind you. All right. Yes, Congratulations, Kaisman. We'll be right back after this with Kaisman and Line 6. Welcome back to Line 6 team. <laughs> Welcome back. We have Jason Sipperly and Gavin Jones. This is your attempt at win number five. Yes, that's right. Mm. And so, how are you doing? Good. Doing good. That last week's flown right by. Yep. <laughs> yep. All right. Well, good luck to you, Line 6 team and Kaisman. Let's get on with our final section. In our final section, we give you five categories of questions, five questions each. They are ranked in difficulty, 10 to 50 points. You don't have to choose them in order. You get to choose the next question if you get the previous question correct. What are today's categories? All right, today's categories are Psy World, Legendary Story, Literary People, Cities of Asia, and Word Origins. Mm -hmm. And I will choose Psy World, 10 points. The Swedish scientist Alfred Nobel is most famous today for creating the Nobel Prize. And as everybody knows, this invention, line six. Dynamite. Yes. It contains a mixture of explosives, including nitroglycerin, ammonium nitrate, and sodium nitrate that are placed in an inert medium such as sawdust. And line six, it's good to see on the board. Keisman, you've got to be aware that you've got to take risks to go against the previous week's winners, the line six team. And line six, you get to choose. Same category, please, 20 points. Psy World, 20 points. At the end of the 19th century, Fritz Haber first synthesized ammonia from this and hydrogen. This element was important to the world population because the fertilizers have... Line six. Nitrogen. Yes. Approximately one-third of the protein in the world's diet currently relies on synthetic fertilizers that contain nitrogen. And nitrogen, by the way, constitutes 78% of the Earth's atmosphere. And line six. Psi World, 30 points. Psi World, 30 points. The 19th century Russian chemist Dmitry Mendeleev arranged cards that described all known... Kaisman. Periodic table. Yes, the periodic table of elements. And his putting them into this table of elements form helped us to realize that there were certain ones that we had yet to discover. And each element in this periodic table is listed by its atomic number and chemical symbol. And Kaisman, with that, you have tied the score at 30 points and you get to choose. Psi World for 40, please. Psi World, 40 points. 
1932, English physicist James Chadwick discovered this subatomic particle that has a mass but no charge. This and protons. Line six. Neutron. Yes, no charge. Neutrons and protons constitute more than 99.9% .9 of an atom's mass, and the development uh, led to the construction of the atomic bomb. Such uncharged particles were eventually called neutrons, apparently from Latin root for neutral and the Greek ending on, uh, by imitation of electron and proton. And line six, you've got the lead and you get to choose. Let's finish it please, 50 points. Closing the category, Psy World, 50 points. The German scientist, Max Planck, was the first to suggest that classical laws of physics did not always apply to atomic systems. By studying light of different frequencies, he proposed the existence of quanta that carried discrete but small amounts of this. His revolutionary equation, E equals HV, where H is Planck's constant symbol, mark the birth of quantum physics. Then, what does E stand for in this equation? Line six. Energy. Yes. And quantum physics comes from the singular form of quanta. And line six, you to um, Legendary story, 10 points, please. Legendary story, 10 points. This person broke into show business at the age of five because his mother had to lead the stage and her son went on instead and sang a well-known song. Halfway through the song, a shower of money poured onto the stage. He stopped singing and told the audience that he would pick up the money first and then finish the song. The audience laughed at his wit. It was the first of millions of laughs in his fabulous career. Who is this greatest of comic artists? Heisman. Charlie Chaplin. Yes. Heisman, you get to choose. Which one? Cities of Asia for 10, please. Cities of Asia for 10 points. This is a city in the Hejaz region of Saudi Arabia, which is called Makkah in Arab. It is the central city for Saudi Arabian... Line six. Mecca. Yes. It gets easier to guess at what we're trying to get to. This is the city Mecca, which is also known as the birthplace of Muhammad, the founder of the Islamic religion. And line six, you get to choose. Uh, cities of Asia for 20. Cities of Asia for 20 points. This city drew the world's attention by achieving very rapid growth in a short period of time. The city prided itself also as a city of sports and culture when China's first Formula One... Heisman. Shanghai. Yes, the temporary government of Korea was established there in 1919, another historic fact about ha Shanghai. And Kaisman, you get to choose. Same category, 30, please. Right, cities of Asia for 30 points. President Ro Mu Hyun recently visited this city. In an extemporaneous address, Ro declared this city a new cultural capital of Korea. This southwestern city of Korea was formerly the site. Kaisman. Andong. Line six, it is your chance to answer. He will finish the question. Formerly the site of the 1980 civil uprising where hundreds of both protesters and civilians died in a massacre of pro-democracy. What is this capital city of South Cholla province where the 2004 Biennale, the International Art Exposition is currently being held? Line, line six. Gyeongju. Heisman. Gwangju. Yes. Yeah, it, it is the Gwangju Finale. Mm, close. <laughs> Cities of Asia for 40, please. Cities of Asia, 40 points. All right. Health officials in India's capital, Delhi, have served notice to the city police for letting mosquitoes breed in its headquarters. Delhi health authorities started surprise checks after a number of these cases were reported in the capital in early September. Line six. Malaria? 
Keisman, it is your chance to answer. He will finish the question. This mosquito-borne disease is a serious health risk to the city's 15 million people. It is an acute febrile disease found in the tropics with a geographical spread similar to malaria. Heisman. Malaria? Hmm. What is this disease, we're asking? Now, line six. Yellow fever? Keisman, five seconds. Heisman? Dengue fever? Yes, it is dengue. <laughs> and you are tied now, Keisman, and line six at 130 points. You get to choose. We'll finish Cities of Asia for 50. Closing the category Cities of Asia, 50 points. In December of 1997, following the third general meeting for the United Nations Framework Convention on Climate Change, 38 countries, including members of the OECD, settled the protocol on decreasing greenhouse gases by 2001. Six. Kyoto. Yes. It is located in West Central Honshu, Japan's largest island, and it is the former imperial capital of Japan. And line six, you have the lead again, and you get to choose. Uh, let's go with literary people for 10. Literary people for 10 points. After writing her story about a runaway slave, Harriet Beecher Stowe was bombarded with hate mail. One of the packages that she received included the severed ear of a black slave. Many writers have credited this novel with doing much to inflame. Line six. Uncle Tom's Cabin? Yes. One of its main themes is slavery. And line six, you get to choose. Uh, literary people for 20. Literary people for 20 points. This person was an American lexicographer, textbook author, Bible translator, and spelling reformer. He is most famous for his dictionary. He published his first line six. Collins. Keisman, it is your chance to answer. I'll finish the question. He published his first dictionary of the English language in 1806. The dictionary was so popular that his last name, Heisman. Webster. Yes. Now, his last name, Webster, became synonymous with dictionary to many Americans. As a result, the name lost trademark protection, and Webster is now used in many different dictionaries uh, as part of their names. And Keisman, you are behind by 40 points. You get to choose. Literary people for 30, please. Literary people, 30 points. Only seven poems by this poet were published during her lifetime. She is one of America's greatest poets. Line six. Emily Dickinson. Yes. After her death in 1886, over 1,000 poems were discovered in a bureau but a definitive edition of her works did not appear until the 1950s, and she was also known as the New England mystic. And one of her famous lines is, tell all the truth, but tell it slant. And she's amazing. I mean, she's a lot different from me in the sense that I'm a kind of an extroverted guy, and she was kind of an introverted person. So she kind of withdrew from society to do her writing and whatnot, and you know, reflect and meditate. And she did that at the age of 23 or something like that. So for 60 some odd years, she lived pretty much alone writing poems. And wow, that's amazing. Mm -hmm. hmm. And is she a favorite of yours? No, I just know who she is. <laughs> All right. Line six. It works for this show. Yep. <laughs> line six, you get to choose. Uh, literary people for 40. All right. Literary people for 40 points. This author is labeled by the Soviet Encyclopedia as quote, the father of Soviet literature, Keisman. Leo Tolstoy. Line six, it is your chance to answer, and I'll finish the question. And the founder of the literature of Soviet socialist realism, end quote. He wrote one of his most influential novels, the propagandistic, the propaganda novel, Mother, while in a vacation place in the capitalistic Adirondacks, which is 12 miles from Elizabethtown in New York State. This is a Russian short story writer and novelist whose famous play includes The Lower Depths. Who is this? Line six. Gorky. 
Yes, Maxime Gorky. <laughs> Russian short story writer and novelist who first attracted attention with his naturalistic and sympathetic stories of tramps and social outcasts. He later wrote other stories, novels, and plays. And line six, you get to choose. Literary people for 50. Closing this category of literary people, 50 points. John Milton wanted to reform politics with poetry. When he realized that this was impossible, he gave up his long-held dream of being a superlative poet and chose instead to devote himself almost exclusively to writing revolutionary manifestos. After the Restoration period, he returned to poetry and wrote this poem. It is an epic poem that narrates the Christian story of the temptation of Adam and Eve by Satan and their expulsion from the Garden of Eden. Line six. Paradise Lost. Yes. It is a 17th century poem, 12 books of blank verse. And line six. Um, let's go back to Legendary Story, 20 points, please. Legendary Story, 20 points. This of most plants is highly inflammable. It will ignite and explode when placed on hot surfaces. In the early days of modern theater, artificial light lighting was produced by throwing this grains of the club moss onto a hot shovel. It is a mass of microspores in a seed plant, appearing usually as a fine Line dust. Line six. Line. Kaisman, it is your chance to answer. He'll finish the question. It carries the male gametes of seed plants. Each of this grain contains one or two regenerative cells. What is this? Kaisman, five seconds. Heisman. Milk. Hmm. The chance to answer is open to both teams. Now think. This carries the ma male gametes of seed plants. And generally, they cause problems for people with allergies. Line six. Pollen. Yes. <laughs> so they throw pollen, and it would be artificial lightning in the old days. And line six, you get to choose. Same again, 30 points, please. Yes. All right. Legendary story, 30 points. In 1957, Frank Sinatra was quoted as describing this as phony and false. He said, written and played for the most part by cretinous goons. But when Elvis Presley finished his army stint three years or so later, Sinatra paid him $125,000 to appear for six minutes on a television special. This is a style of popular music that originated... Heisman. Rock and roll. Yes. Elvis is known as the king of rock and roll. <laughs> and Kaisman, you get to choose. Same category, 40, please. All right, legendary story, 40 points. The stellar cataclysm in the motion picture titled This was filmed in an abandoned corset factory in New York City. The cataclysm was a close-up of paint dripping in a bucket. The film is an immensely popular and influential science fiction film. The film was directed by Stanley Kubrick, and the original storybook was written by... 96. 2001, A Space Odyssey? Yeah. Based uh, in part on various short stories by Clark, or Arthur C. Clarke, notably The Sentinel. And which would you like to have next? I'll, we'll finish it for 50. Yeah. All right, legendary story, 50 points. After becoming the emperor of Rome, this person's dearest ambition was to sing in public. After taking some lessons, he made his debut in Naples. During his performance, an earth tremor shook the theater, causing some of the audience to depart while he sang. At a later performance elsewhere, he had the gates locked so that no one could leave. He was the fifth and last Roman emperor of the Julio-Claudian dynasty. Who is this? Line six. Nero? Yes. <laughs> Nero Claudius Caesar Augustus Germanicus. He became infamous for his personal debaucheries and extravagances and on doubtful evidence for his burning of Rome and persecutions of Christians. Imagine locking in your audience so they can't leave. Hmm. <laughs> what would you like to have next? I'd do that for sure in a second. If I was the emperor, you better stay, people. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> and line six, you get to choose. Uh, word origins for 10. All right, word origins, 10 points.
Hello contenders, my name is Carl Dustheimer and I'm the director of the Kyungi English Village Ansan Camp. It's really great to see you all. Welcome to the, the newsroom of the English Village where excitement and adventure in English are what we do. In our English Village, students learn English while dealing in real-life situations in various cultures of English-speaking countries. They can learn English more effectively by facing real-life situations in many different circumstances, such as the immigration, general store, a clinic, a bank, a post office, and even a hotel lobby. Since students are not allowed to speak any language but English, they sometimes become confused in the beginning, but then they adapt quickly in these new surroundings. Today we will be looking at the history and origins of several English words. Sounds interesting, doesn't it? Etymology is like linguistic archaeology. It involves digging deeply into each word and its roots and discovering earlier forms or meanings. Let's learn some of them through today's questions. The original word for this initially referred to a concoction that did not include tomatoes. The Chinese invented this, which is a combination of pickled fish and spices in the 1690s. By the early 1700s, its popularity had spread to Malaysia, where British explorers first encountered it. By 1740, the sauce was an English staple, and it was becoming popular in the American colonies. Heisman. Pepper. Ketchup. Yes, it is ketchup. By 1740, the sauce was an English staple, and it wasn't invented until the 1790s when New England colonists first mixed tomatoes into the sauce. The word ketchup is derived from ketchup or ketchup, which is from the Amoy dialect of China by way of the Malay word ketchup. The word is pronounced ketchup in Cantonese. Hmm. Can't live without it. Ketchup with everything. Mm. It's my favorite condiment. Anyway. Thank you. <laughs> sure. Just wanted to share that. <laughs> and Kaisman, you get to choose. 20. All right. Word origins. 20 points. This question is about a word that we commonly use in our daily lives. In more heroic ancient times, the man who walked in front of the army was the general himself, the army ruler, or Herivald. Harry comes from the word Herr, army, in German, and Wald, or Vault, is the, from the German word Verwaltung, which means administration. Later, the role of walking in front of the army was given to a messenger, the announcer of news, or this. Line six. Herald. Yes, popular use for newspapers. And that sounds like a great idea to have your leader walk before you. And Until six. he gets killed. And that's why they put him in the back, maybe. <laughs> And line six, you get to choose. Uh, 30 points. Word origins for 30 points. This fruit's name is derived from a word in Nahuatl, which is the native language of central Mexico. The word is ahuacatl, which means testicle. Heisman. Avocado. Yes. <laughs> the Spanish conquistadors corrupted the name to aguacate, and was accepted later as avocado in the English language. And were you aware of the root of the word? Uh, no, avocado sounded similar to avocado. Mm, so all right. Just guess. And you get to choose. 40. All right. Word origins, 40 points. Punch, as in fruit punch, is one of the favorite drinks consumed at parties. The word punch signifies the five ingredients that are mixed together, which are sugar, lemon juice, beer, pure alcohol, and a bitter aperitif. The word punch is derived from the word panka, which means five in this language. This is a classical language of India and is among the early... Kaisman. Punjabi. Line six, it is your chance to answer. He'll finish the question. Members of the Indo-European language family. What is this language? Line six, five seconds. Line six. Hindi or Hindu? This is seen by many as the Indian equivalent of Latin. Its vast religious and literary tradition. Heisman. Sanskrit. Yes. And is 
famously seen in its Hindu and Vedic traditions. And we've got one left on the board, word origins, 50 points. The origin of the word serendipity is the original name of this country. The word is derived from a Persian legend of the three princes of serendip. Heisman. Iran. Line six, it is your chance to answer. He'll finish the question. The name of this country was coined by an Englishman by the name of Horace Walpole in 1754. Horace read the story as a boy and was enthralled by the tales of miraculous coincidences experienced by the princes in their travels. The country was known as Ceylon before 1972. What is this country? Line six. Sri Lanka. And with that, the tropical island nation off the southeast coast of the Indian subcontinent. Line six, you have won yet again. Congratulations. Yes. Various prizes are awaiting our winning contenders. Your first win will take you on a trip to Jeju Island. Your second win to Japan. Your third win will take you to China. And on your fourth win, you'll win a trip to Southeast Asia. On your fifth win, a trip to Hawaii. Your sixth win, a trip to the United States. And on your seventh win, you'll take the grand prize of a tour of Europe. We hope many of you join us. Heisman, it's really tough to go against the previous week's yes. winner. You did a great job and it was very close. What do you want to say to your supporters? Thanks for having us. It was a learning experience. I would like to thank everyone at KAIST for uh, supporting us from Daejeon and for my family and relatives and friends. And me. And of course my yeah. partner, Subong. <laughs> <laughs> do you want to say something? Um, he said all. All right, thank you very much for joining us today. Line six, you've won five in a row, and it yeah. means you have tickets now to Hawaii. 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 Aloha. Beach. <laughs> go to the beach. <laughs> Are you satisfied? No. Oh, you want to go on? Oh, absolutely. All right. So Hawaii's good to me, but yeah. Hawaii is good, but <laughs> Europe's better. <laughs> All right. Congratulations again. Yep. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, line six has won its fifth win in a row. We'll see him again next week. Join us then. Have a great week. Bye-bye. <laughs>